Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today is Sunday, June the... 7th. June the 7th, thank you, Heather. And we're in downtown Chattanooga, parked in our secret parking lot that we can't tell you where it is. And, uh, you know, my daughter missed her junior prom with her boyfriend, Ian, who you've seen both of them lots of times on the channel. And tonight, they are kind of pretending like it's their prom. I just got a text from her. Uh, anyway, they're kind of pretending like tonight's their junior prom. There's not going to be any dancing, but right now they're eating at a restaurant. We're on the south side of the Tennessee River, and they're eating at a restaurant on the north side of the Tennessee River, and we're supposed to meet them kind of in this area in about an hour. And uh, I'm going to take a lot of, of uh, prom pictures. I think they're in their prom clothes, and I brought some... I brought some kind of serious camera gear. I've been kind of leaving my my best stuff at home lately. I haven't used my the holy trinity of zooms uh, that I have. I've kind of been using other stuff because it's lighter and better for landscape. But tonight, I brought the 24 to 70 f 2.8 G. Uh, this is the Z6 and an FTZ adapter, of course. I brought the 70 to 200 f 2.8 VR2, which is a absolutely fantastic lens. I'm not doing any manual focus adapted lenses tonight. I mean, they're all adapted, but I'm not doing any manual focus lenses. I've got the 85 millimeter F 1.8 and I have the 50 millimeter F 1.8. So that's what we're going to take pictures of Casey and Ian in their fancy prom clothing with. Okay, so we were here a little bit early. Uh, we were supposed to meet the kids at 7, and we got here about 6.15. So we were kind of resting in the car, which is right there. And uh, Heather has the D7100 and the one lens to rule them all, the 18-400 to Tamron lens. And uh, she sat right there in the car, right exactly beside where she's filming this clip from. And a uh, northern mockingbird landed right there on that, like, uh, hose pipe section there in that tree next to the aluminum thing that's kind of keeping that... Uh, I guess that's a dogwood growing straight up. And she got some pretty cool shots, so I thought I would share those with you now while we're waiting on the kids. Well, there is Heather's Mockingbird picture that she made. Beautiful golden hour light on it, and I really like the shot that she got. And here is a robin. I think it might be a juvenile American robin. And the next shot that she got was I pointed out these holly berries, and I thought that they looked pretty and she did a dynamite job of making a shot of them and now the kids have arrived okay hang on go okay hang on. almost almost go that's really pretty good okay so i like this statue of the dancing couple and the man is dipping the lady so i decided to ask Ian to try to dip Casey a little bit and I made this photograph. So here's another photo of the young couple at the Hunter Museum of Art which is where the first photo was as well and I thought this was cool getting a picture of them right in front of the Hunter Museum sign. All right now look at each other. Now put your foreheads together. <laughs> All righty then. Okay, so this was that shot that the video just showed me making, and you can see the piece of art in the background. But this photo is mostly about Casey and Ian smashing their noses together. It's kind of cute. Okay, I've switched to automatic ISO for this, down to 180th. Apparently they came here on their first date or something. So this photo was made kind of in what's called the art district, not at the museum itself, but nearby. And they really like this little area. So they begged and pleaded to have a photo made here, even though you're kind of not supposed to shoot here. So we got in and out really quick. All right, uh, kind of look that way to where the sun's in your eyes a little. Yeah, is it blinding you? So 
So this is back at the museum and you can see the shot I was making a minute ago and I actually was going to try to take a picture of them with the museum in the background but then I, from up there on that hill there's a great background with Lookout Mountain so I took a couple of pictures of them with the city of Chattanooga and Lookout Mountain in the background. Lookout Mountain is famous for Rock City is located there which is kind of famous all over. Actually go to that far corner. Y'all seen it over Titanic? <laughs> All right, do your king of the world. Both of you, king of the world. Casey, arms up. Huh? Arms up so I can see them above your head. Way up. Okay, now turn this way so your arms aren't blocking your face. Yeah, it's straight up. Yeah, but, okay. So this is another area of the Hunter Museum of Art. It's actually kind of three buildings that are all sort of combined together. And you can see the Tennessee River down below, Casey and Ian in the background. And here you can see the Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge and the Tennessee River in the background. Really beautiful area and the, the art district is just wonderful. And I was wrong. I was trying to get Casey to put her arms straight up, but you actually put your arms out if you're doing the King of the World Titanic pose. And uh, Heather got me doing the right thing pretty quickly. Okay, we're at my favorite stretch of trees here. This is uh, downtown Chattanooga on, what is that, Broad Street right there? Market Street. And there's this whole row of trees, I don't know, 20 or 30 of them that grow together to make a hammock or whatever. And I'm gonna put the 85 1.8 on, or I may switch to the, uh, to the 70 to 200. One of those will be the shot for this lens. The lens for this shot. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, that is world class. I'm gonna scoot a little closer to you this time and get the same shot, but with more of y'all in it and less of the trees. Come on. So sometimes I act completely stupid if I'm taking a photograph of someone to try to get them to make a real smile instead of a, kind of a fake smile. Uh, it's a strange approach and I probably need to come up with something better, but for now it did work in this shot. Okay, Casey, put your hand on your hip again. That's good. Put your hand back on your hip. All right, here we go. Ba 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 Okay, well, that was completely insane, but I got a picture of Casey laughing, so it was worth it. As you can see, I was using a timer for a lot of these shots that were on the tripod. I would just kind of set up and have them stand in the right place, and then I would have the camera make four or five shots as I acted stupid. It was Casey's idea to get a serious photograph of the two of them in these masks while they were wearing their prom clothing. And I think it was a brilliant idea and I really liked the way it came out. And then I took another photograph that I didn't make video of or Heather didn't make video of on that same brick tractor, this time looking towards me at the back. And I like this shot as well. Here we go. Don't move. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, crap. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Okay, that's enough. We were really pressed for time, so I didn't get to concentrate on this shot very long, but I thought with it getting pretty close to dark, I would do a slightly long exposure of some light trails behind the couple. Hang on, I'm trying to get my light settings better, because this is, uh. It's, we're in the dark here. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, snappity, snappity, snappity.
Well, now we are at the third location. This is their high school. This is Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences, and they're on the front steps of this beautiful, historic building in Chattanooga. I'm being serious. I'm being totally serious. Very, very serious. Very serious. Well, this picture shows how little bitty you guys are and how huge that set of stairs is. It's enormous. Can you sit? Can you sit at the top at the at the flat spot there? It's really getting dark now and the lights making all sorts of unusual colors. ISO's all the way up to 1000 now with this shutter speed of only 1/50th of a second wide open at 2.8 here at the huge staircase in front of Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. <laughs> All right, arms up this time. Like this. That's good. So my mother, who was born in 1923, went to this school, and in those days it was called Chattanooga City High School. Later, it changed names to Riverside High School, and then Samuel Jackson went there. And now my daughter goes there at Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. And this is the last photo of the shoot. Whoo, hot and sweaty. It's uh, mid 80s even now in uh, the late stages of the blue hour. We came to the school and did the final few shots. And uh, we'll show you, I guess you've already seen the portraits and uh, hopefully some of them were good. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.